Extreme heat can be very damaging to human health. There's a disproportionate impact of extreme heat and we know that that inequality is going to widen as the climate warms. The people that are most vulnerable don't have access to air conditioning. If you don't have air conditioning, you have to resort to other means of trying to keep cool. This is a climate chamber. We can simulate any condition on Earth, particularly with respect to extreme heat. What we're looking at doing is trying to help people who are working in ready-made garment factories. This industry can be problematic in many ways, but one pressing issue is the physical conditions that these workers face. They get paid based on output. When you're exposed to extreme heat, you naturally slow down, so people have to stay for longer at work to get paid the same amount. We know that the solutions that are in place have so far been inadequate, and we're trying to figure out which sustainable cooling strategies that can be applied in that environment to keep them cooler, make them feel comfortable, and reduce the risk of illness and injury. We want to make sure that it resembles real life as much as possible. Often people think, well, it seems pretty basic, but that's the point, is that you want them to be basic. We want them to make sure that they work so they're cheap, they're sustainable, and they can be applied in this environment. And then ultimately what we want to do is be able to then translate these findings back into the factory environment where we improve the health and well-being of the people that are working in these types of settings.